after taking ecstasy at the Austin City Limits Music Festival. 21-year-old Jessica Hunter died Wednesday, four days after Austin police say she took ecstasy with a group of friends at ACL. Tonight, our Amanda Brandeis spoke with her parents from their home in North Texas. They have a message they want everyone to hear. She gave them 21 years of happiness. People on Facebook were saying when she walked in a room, she lit up a room. She had a heart for everybody. 21 years of love. We have found things that she has written, poems she wrote when she was 11 years old, talking about we all have a purpose on this on this earth. Now the parents of Jessica Hunter are only left with memories. The police came to our door at 5 o'clock in the morning, ringing the doorbell. And when we answered the door, they say, I hate to tell you this, but your daughter's in the ICU. And we have no information. We only have a phone number. Jessica's friends say she wasn't a drug user, but a friend she took the drug with that day is now left devastated. He said it was my job to protect her. And I didn't do it. Jessica's parents are now speaking out despite their pain. It takes one time, just one time, and you don't ever want your parents to have to come to your bedside and see you on a breathing machine. We're very sad, but there's also joy because of the life. We know the life that she did leave and, and how many people she impacted. While they only had 21 years with their daughter, they say they're blessed and say if speaking out saves just one life, it's worth it. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. Jessica was a junior at Texas State University in San Marcos. A celebration of her life will be held tomorrow at Northwood Church in Keller. That's just north of Fort Worth. I want to show you